Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up your scratch disk on Final Cut Pro 7. Now the importance of setting up your scratch disk is that once you move a clip into your, into your browser and then into your timeline, um, Final Cut needs to know where to store all the files associated with rendering that clip or making that clip easy or, be, or making that clip able to view, able, able to be viewed on Final Cut. So, let me show you. I'm bringing this clip here into the uh, browser and then into the timeline. As you can see, I can um, scroll around the clip, but if I hit the play button, it's going to say unrendered, meaning I won't be able to see it. In order for that to be rendered, I have to go to sequence and go to render all or render selection. Um, but before doing that, I need to tell Final Cut where to put the files that are going to be associated with rendering that clip. So what I have to do is go to here, File, uh, excuse me, go to Final Cut Pro, System Settings, and then System Settings, click on the Scratch This tab, and then these four items, this one here, 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 and here, I have to set them to a specific folder location. In my case, I made a uh, test scratch this folder on a desktop, just to show you. And here it is. And then I click OK. Set this one to the same location. Hit OK. Set this one to the same location. Hit OK. And set this one to the same location. And hit OK. And then you hit OK one more time. And now you can actually render the clip. Now, for the purposes of this clip, I'm going to shorten it a little bit and just render a smaller piece in the interest of time. So I selected that piece and I'm going to go here select or sequence rather and hit select select on uh, render selection. And that should render quite quickly and what it's doing here is it's making those render files that it's going to store in that location that we just told it to store a couple of seconds ago. It's almost it's getting there. The outcome of this is going to be that once it's fully rendered, instead of seeing this red line over this piece, meaning that it's not rendered, it's going to be a blue line, meaning now it's rendered. And you can actually play the clip and begin to do whatever else you're going to do with it. There you go. So now you see that that line changed color. So now if I hit play, I'm able to actually see the clip. So that's it for today. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, just post them on my blog or post any notes at the bottom of this uh, of this YouTube video, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Okay. Thanks.